Now we're going to go over the guards of the Highland Broadsword. Now you will see that there are other guards and variations of guards for the broadsword that aren't included here. These are the guards that are recommended and advocated by Henry Angelo. You'll see various versions of the hanging guards and uh, the half circle guards elsewhere, but these are the guards as prescribed by Henry Angelo in his works. So all your exercises begin at sloped swords. The first guard is the outside guard. This protects your high outside. Cut comes in here, it protects against that. Next, you simply swing over to the inside guard. You see that I have an open stance on these guards. Now this next guard, the St. George guard, I shift on. Almost all the guards that you see here, when actually used as a parry, you will be shifted. However, some of these guards, as in the next guard, the hanging guard, you're in an open stance because it is also an engaging guard. You see that these guards will cross the center line of your body. This center line is the line between you and your opponent. And so it is a, an appropriate engaging guard. It puts you on guard. The next guard is not an engaging guard. It protects your inside, your lower inside. This is an inside half hanger. Should be at right angles all around your body from your shoulder, your elbows to your wrist, etc. And then you're going to extend it out. This is the outside half hanger. Protects the outside, your flank. Next, you're going to come to the medium guard. Sword straight across. This is not an actual guard, but it is an engaging guard in that it doesn't telegraph which way you're going to go necessarily but it doesn't actually guard your body from anything in particular. From here, you're going to curl up and shift into the half circle guard. In Angelo's system, this is not an engaging guard. However, you do see it in some other systems such as the Highland Officer where it is used as an engaging guard. This protects your wrist by both moving your wrist out of the way and by wrist, I mean your whole entire forearm, from your elbow all the way to your hand. Moves it out of the way and also robs the uh, opponent's sword of its momentum as you parry it. From here, that is the end of the guards exercise, so you'll go to slope swords. So now let's do that again, but without all the explanations. I will call out the names of each of the guards, though. Outside guard, inside guard. St. George guard, hanging guard, inside half hanger, outside half hanger, medium guard, half circle guard, and back to slope swords. Now do it facing the side. Outside guard, inside guard, St. George, hanging, Inside half hanger, outside half hanger, medium, half circle, and then slope swords. Now I'll do it facing the other way. Outside guard, inside guard, St. George, hanging, inside half hanger, outside half hanger, medium, half circle slope swords. And that's the guards exercise according to Henry Angelo.